क्या टेस्ट है चटोरे के कटोरे में क्या देश है इतने सारे देश का अपना देश है और हर देश एक नंबर सर्वश्रेष्ठ है दिल्ली राजधानी या चलती बिन प्रकार की रीति खाने में कहानी कितनी उप संस्कृति दिखे जलेबी उप से इमरती खाने में प्रभाव है खूब इतने मल्टी पानी पूरी कहूँ या कहूँ मैं गोल गपे अगर वड़ा देसी डोनट तो क्या इडली है कप के कदुए नवजो के सीरियस है सब्जी पाव भाजी तीखी तो मीठी है लस्सी जो चाहो मैं खाओ बड़े चाव से खाओ चाहे मैं चाओ मैं चबाओ या मैं खाओ कम पाओ इसमें वड़ा ना घुसे तो लाओ दाल रोटी तो पाओ सब खिलाओ क्यूँकी वाह क्या टेस्ट है चटोरे के कटोरे में क्या देश है इतने सारे देश का अपना देश है और हर देश एक नंबर सर्वश्रेष्ठ है नमस्ते मैं हूँ चार्ल्स थॉम्सन और आप लोग देख रहे हैं वहाँ क्या टेस्ट है काफी साल पहले जब मैं बॉम्बे जाता था तो मैं पासी लोग के साथ रहता था मैं उन लोग को थोड़ा योगा सिखलाता था और मैं उनका कम्युनिटी के बारे में कुछ ज्ञान प्राप्त होता था गुड फूड गुड थिंकिंग गुड लिविंग इज द सीक्रेट ऑफ दिस अमेजिंग कम्युनिटी नोन एज द पासी कम्युनिटी द फूड दो इज अमेजिंग इट्स अ फ्यूजन ऑफ ईरानियन पर्शन गुजराती महाराष्ट्र and go and cuisine the only difficulty i have is sometimes with the words particularly some of the food words sagan ka makchi saas na makchi patra na makchi masala na dal aur gulwa ka kuch kuch aisa hai jaisa machli aap log to malum hai main to vegetarian hu machli khana wala nahi hu to chaliye aaj hum log delhi mein ek aisa pasi restaurant dhoond lenge जहाँ खाली अच्छा खाना नहीं मिलता है वहाँ भी अच्छा वेजिटेरियन फूड मिल जाता है तो आइए मेरे साथ आप हम पहुंच गया है ना Delhi Pasi Anshuman it's the Delhi Pasi Dhamshala it's a huge building and in this complex we have a fire temple where only the pasis are allowed to pray also there is a restaurant called Rustam where everybody is allowed to go the food is Kathak Tita Mikku and now it has an amazing menu and not just dansak and saliboti at the standard fares so chaliye aaiye mere saath hum log andar jayenge और रस्तम को कुसीन खाएंगे और मजा आएगा तो चलिए आइए मेरे साथ नमस्ते कनास कॉन्ट्रैक्टर जी नमस्ते ये रेस्टोरेंट कितना सुंदर मैं एक बार बात लाऊं मैं पासी का घर में बॉम्बे में बहुत बार गया है लेकिन ये पहली बार कोई पासी रेस्टोरेंट में खाना खा रहा है दैट्स व्हाई गुड वेलकम टू रस्तम लगता है कि आपके पुराने के जमाने में पहुंच गया है कम लेट्स इट Amazing! This it's just like a an album. You've yeah. made this restaurant into an album yeah, with the menu. Huh? So this is the Parsi chai. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, thank you. So this has got mint and lemongrass, okay. and it's boiled with uh, tea leaves and milk. Right. First, I I just wanted to ask, what gave you the inspiration to come up with such a concept? Uh, so Rustams is a concept that's very close to my heart yes. because I've always wanted to showcase Parsi food. to people beyond your irani cafe staples because that is what even in bombay people know more about irani cafes and the food that served there but not traditional home cooked parsi food so the idea behind rustams is to introduce people to home cooked parsi food we'll get to the menu we'll explore that in a minute but i am just 
mind blown by all this memorabilia. So these are all uh, crowdsourced from families, all because it Parsi houses you find this, it's very typical to have your dining table with a cloth at the bottom and then you have like these small knickknacks and Parsi memorabilia. So that's what I've recreated the ambience of Rustams also. is very uh, typical of what you'd find in a traditional Parsi house. So the minute you walk into Rustams, you feel like you've entered someone's house. I mean, this is just extraordinary. I've visited thousands of restaurants, okay. but I've never seen history portrayed in such a gentle and familiar way. Now, I also believe you have another surprise and I believe you have also an amazing menu. Yes. Right. So this is the idea. Menu is basically, it's like a photo album. So when you browse through the menu, you'll see a lot of old family photos that we had as well along with the menu. So here we've got our all day breakfast page, then all your Bombay classics. So like these are your old photos. Like What actually has happened here, and I'm seeing this for the first time, and I've also run restaurants. See how on one side we've put pictures of memorabilia and then the menu on the other side. Can you see that? That's extraordinary. Now, I have to just quickly, before we go on to food, ask you one question that's been bugging me forever. Iranian and Parsi chai. What's the difference? Are they the same? <laughs> are they cousins? Or are they completely different? Uh, so they are completely different in a way. Irani chai uh, uses a bit of khoya also, so it's a richer tea because it has con uh, evaporated milk added to it as well. So it's a richer and more full-bodied tea. But Parsi chai on the other hand is more aromatic. So it uses a lot of uh, mint, lemongrass and your tea leaves. Now, I must also ask you about the concept of the food. What inspired you to come up with such a large menu? Uh, we have a fairly exhaustive uh, veg section as well, contrary to popular belief, we do have a lot of veg selection. And <laughs> we also, because at the, our new location at the Parsi Dharamshala, we are open since morning to night. So we have a breakfast, a lunch, a snack and a dinner menu. So this is Parsi heaven here. I mean, literally. I mean, I've tasted this chai and I can't wait to eat something. Now, there's also one thing that we always hear about Parsi food, katamita. Yes. So please share a little bit about that because that's something I suppose the Gujaratis have, yes. but it's not something that the rest of India participates yes. so actively yeah. in. So a lot of our food is also influenced by Gujarati food because we came into India through Gujarat. So uh, we follow the three basic tenets of khattu, mitu and tikhu, so which is sweet, sour and spicy. And you get the sarnas with the Parsi vinegar that we use. It's a Parsi sugarcane vinegar, which is a darker, very molasses based uh, vinegar. So that blends the khatta to it. The sugar uh, is the mitha, or it could also be imli paste sometimes, which balances out the sweet and sour. I mean, you put sweet in everything, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Not every, most of it. Most of it. Um, I've already had a, a brief look at this menu, but what I was thinking was, what could I eat? Since you're vegetarian, yes. I think it's best that, should we try a thali? Because that will give you a good mix of dishes and you can try a lot of them. Do you have just one type of thali? No, so in vegetarian we have two thalis. We okay. have a veg thali and we have a paneer thali. Okay. So we'll try both, you can... Oh, that, that'd be fantastic. So the veg and paneer yes, thali, it's yes. ready. Yeah. You know, I think I've been served in silver in Bombay, but this is the first time I'm having a meal in copper. Oh, yeah. My God, it looks extraordinary. Okay, so this is the paneer thali and this is the veg thali. So yes. this is the patrama paneer. Yes. So it's paneer which is cased in a mint and coriander chutney uh -huh. and it's wrapped in banana leaves and it's steamed. Right. This is paneer vindalu. Okay. This is your traditional Parsi dal, which yes. is a mori dal. And this is a, a veg pickle, which is a vengna no achar, which is an aubergine pickle. Uh, and this is Sarkano Kachumbar, which is uh, like a Kachumbar salad, but dressed Sa with vinegar. Sarkar is vinegar. Sarkar is vinegar. Yeah, Sarkar is vinegar. 
this is simla again but this is got uh, the veg dhansak dal right. which is the masala dal okay. this is ravaiya which is uh, baby brinjal okay. that's stuffed with a peanut mixture and cooked in uh, mint and coriander and coconut wow. chutney so, so this wonderful. is sweet sour spicy this is a soya patties okay. and this is your traditional parsi rotis which are cooked uh, with a laced with a bit of ghee so they're very soft and very thin and this is the gajar meva no achar okay. which is a carrot and raisin pickle so it's again sweet and sour so now i think i'll open this amazing banana leaf and see what's inside wow okay it's maybe you've put some oil or ghee or something no, on the leaf no nothing, no it's just the way it is what and uh, what i'll do yeah. i'll get a fork wow it's like magic oh yeah oh, i'll have to do a knife just so i can show and the paneer becomes even more softer because you've steamed it so it's got yeah oh it's steamed paneer yeah it's steamed yeah so this has got the mint and coriander chutney i just had a slice i'm going to have another slice you can see this paneer that's been steamed and it's got a bit because of the chutney it's got that katta meeta flavor and i'm cutting it in pieces so i don't make a mess and i'm telling you it is magic and you can also of course taste the fact that it's been cooked in a banana leaf <laughs> so now you can try the paneer vindalu with the roti if you want so i should try this, this one with, with yeah. that one so the vindalu that we use uh, the uh, vindalu masala that yep. we make yes. is it's inspired by the goan vindalu so now i'm eating the part it's the goan fusion part of the cuisine yes, correct correct this is what goa has contributed goan, yeah. to parsi yes the parsi vindalu it's not too spicy the flavor is very light it grows on you in the mouth but it is extremely delicious just use their flavors lightly they don't use overly strong flavors correct yeah it's the aim is to have a good balance of flavors rather than make something very spicy or very sweet so you have to achieve that balance of sweet sour and spicy i should have the so this is a parsi dal which is yeah. traditionally it's called mori dhandar mm -hmm. so that's it's a very simple classic yellow arhar dal mm -hmm. but it's been tempered with ghee a bit of garlic uh, a bit of turmeric and fried onions you feel instant comfort when you eat it <laughs> and you can taste the ghee that really comes through in it look at that color i've had lots of yellow dals but this is a completely new experience with this particular one you've obviously put a lot of time and effort to make yes. this one Now you're suggesting with the rice to have yeah, this one. Okay. okay. So this is just a pickle? Yeah, this is the aubergine pickle that we have vengna no achar. Let me try this one. Yeah. Very katta. <laughs> very very katta. But nice. Yeah. Oh, it's the kachumbar salad and it's got vinegar in it. Okay. So that's something that you can have when you're having probably the vindalu also just a bit of salad. Mm. Once again The beauty of this food is it's not it's mita katta but it's not overpowering so you can enjoy every bite. Wow. Okay. Do you want so, to try this thali now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could finish all of this but I will yeah. make up there. Now. Okay. So this thali is the vegetarian thali. So okay. this has the soya patties which I said and it's got uh, so normally all our patties has a uh, egg coating on top right. but for vegetarian we don't do the egg we just do the semolina coating okay. and this is the dhansak dal that we spoke about it's a slow cooked dal and it's cooked traditionally with mutton but if you're vegetarian you just avoid the mutton and just cook the dal with the vegetables so it's soya in the middle like sweet and sour soya granules Mm. with a mashed potato patty on the outside this is the ultimate hash brown if you like hash browns this is it and this is, of course is also vegetarian i'll take this spoon is this dal you were telling me this is a different type this of parsi dal. dal okay oh this is a thicker one okay so put and we call it dansa dansak 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 dal okay dansak dal and it's very thick yeah and this is the masala uh, base dal you're a dal lover yeah. <laughs> this is heaven wow oh i just love this oh 
it's amazing what you can do with lentils. Now with the roti, you can have the uh, aubergine in the chutney gravy. This is called ravaya. So it's basically baby brinjals that's stuffed with a peanut, uh, spicy peanut mixture. Ravaya. <laughs> Who gave it that name? <laughs> huh? I have no idea where the name came from, oh, but okay. yeah. So there, you can have uh, brinjals which are not stuffed as well. Just let one minute. I'll take it with the stuffing. I've missed the stuffing. You can almost smell the peanuts from mm. here as well. The spicy. So you've actually stuffed it with peanuts. Peanuts, a spicy masala peanuts. That's quite amazing. So I presume that influences come from Gujarat. Gujarat, yes. Right. This is something I'd love to learn how to cook. Oh. Cool, we can take in the kitchen. Fine. And maybe the, the chef, if he has a few more minutes, he can also teach me how to make Parsi chai. Done. Right? That would be wonderful. Okay, so that I've had, that's yeah. that's amazing. Now I'm a little bit curious. Yeah. I'm looking at this chutney. Yeah. And look at that. It looks sweet and I've yeah. got a sweet tooth. Yeah. So this is the lagannu achar or the gajar meva achar which has got carrots and raisins and a bit of mava inside as well. So I think this is katta mita tikku. Yes. It actually gives you a bit of a high. <laughs> huh? I'm feeling high now. No? <laughs> wow. Superb. Great. So shall we learn how to make the ravaya? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Wow. I mean, I must say though, I, I've really enjoyed this food. Um, later I'll come back and just finish all of this. I'm not going to let this go to waste. And I love tallies and I must say, this is extraordinary. So if you're a tally and you're a vegetarian person just like myself, you've got to come here and try this. Either one or both together, it doesn't matter. It's mind-blowing. Wow. Okay. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. This is our kitchen. This is where we make all the Parsi food. Oh, wow. This is Prakash Ram. He's my head chef. Namaste. Jai Sri Ram Prakash Ji. Wow. Kya naam hai? To mujhe chai si kai hai? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Me Parsi chai pine ka baut shok hai. Parsi chai huh? also. Ravai also. Ah, so Parsi chai and Ravai. Great. So he'll take it forward. Okay. Thank you. We'll make chai baad mein banayenge. We'll make Ravai first. ये पीनट मिक्सर है हाँ हाँ आज हम जब खाया था ना हाँ उसके अंदर में क्रंची था तो ये पीनट है ना हाँ जी हाँ जी ये पीनट का एक पूरा क्रंची अच्छा है इसके अंदर में तो अब इस... हम इसमें स्टेपिंग करेंगे इसका अच्छा? पीनट का इस ये ऐसे तो इसको like ऐसे हल्का हल्का दबाना है बस हाँ, इसको okay. ऐसे रख देना हाँ, ओके यस बस सारा स्टेपिंग ओके and the stuffing is just peanut and peanut and yes sub oh, all of those milak yes, yes so all you do is you just stuff it like that and then close yeah. it like this yeah. right that's yeah. it and it's ready yeah okay and if this mint to coriander chutney yes it's my coconut okay. red coconut okay uh, imli face chili yeah yes or uh, yep uh, coriander yes or green chili uh, i stay away from green chilies it's too hot for me Gee. okay ab isko hum fry karenge fry okay karenge. yeah yeah sure sure let's yeah. do it ab hum log ravaiya banayenge lekin baat ye hai na aisa naam kyu diya hai khata to mitra to hai na ram ha ji ha ha lekin naam aisa nahi dena chahiye tha na hai ke nahi to banaiye na dikhlai ye kaise banata hai थोड़ा सा ऑयल डालेंगे ये कौन सा तेल है ये ये नॉर्मल ऑयल है नॉर्मल अरे मस्टर्ड होगा कुछ रिफाइंड 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 ऑयल है अब देखिए रिफाइंड ऑयल डालना है अच्छा इसको गरम करना है कैसे ओ ये आग लगाने वाला है अच्छा 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 ठीक है लो लगाओ जलाएंगे जी बस इसको डालना है हां जी इसको अब हम थोड़ा फ्राई करेंगे अच्छा हल्का सा हां हां
जब हम लोग खट्टा मीठा बोलता है हाँ एक तो चीनी हो गया चीनी और इमली हाँ। तो सब मिक्स करके पेस्ट करते तो हैं इसको हमको कैसे मालूम होगा कि ये तैयार हो गया ये हो जाएगा जैसे हल्का सा ब्राउन ब्राउन हो रहा है तो ये इससे पता चल जाएगा अरे खींचता है ना हाँ जी हाँ अरे वाह अब थोड़ा स्लो कर देना इसको चटनी डालेंगे हम इसमें मिलाता है हाँ कितना चटनी डालते हैं अरे वाह हाँ? नहीं नहीं करता है ना नहीं नहीं अरे वाह ऐसे ऐसे देखिए कोई कंजूसी नहीं है इस किचन में अब पानी भी डालना है जी इसको पकाना है अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है चटनी डालने के बाद इसको पहले हल्का सा मिक्स कर लेना अच्छी तरह राइट ओके पानी कब डालेंगे अभी पानी डाल देते हैं हम इसमें अच्छा एक कप पानी डालना है इसमें जी भी थोड़ा कोशिश कर ये है रवैया भाषी खुजे अब देखिए जब भी कोई पास ही कुकिंग आता है ना आप ये बोल है ना राम नारियल बहुत होता है इसमें भी नारियल है इमली है और थोड़ा सा चीनी भी डाला है ना हाँ ज़्यादा कोरिएंडर और मिंट है इसमें अच्छा और सॉस में खंजूसी नहीं खाता है देखिए कितना सॉस डाला है इसमें कितना है अच्छा ये थोड़ा सा हम लोग ऐसे हिलाएंगे तो धीरे धीरे पक जाएगा ना ये धीरे धीरे पक जाएगा और उसका रंग भी थोड़ा सा बदल देगा ना हाँ वाह क्या बात है अच्छा इसको देखिए ठीक है कि नहीं अच्छा इसमें ढक्कन लगा लगाना पड़ता है ना इसमें आप ढक्कन लगाते हैं अच्छा इसको दो तीन मिनट के लिए अच्छा अरे ढक्कन बहुत बड़ा है कोई बात नहीं काम हो जाएगा हाँ हाँ तो ये बताओ यहाँ पर सबसे ज़्यादा आप क्या बनाता है पासी कुजी में सबसे ज़्यादा लोग क्या खाता है रोया भी खाते हैं धन अच्छा सब सबसे ज्यादा खाता है वो तो हर फांसी रेस्टोरेंट में धनसक धनसक है ना सलेबोटी सलेबोटी आ क्या बात है ये दोनों चीज हाँ जी चिकन में डालू ये सब काफी ज्यादा ये बन गया हाँ जी ये बन गया अच्छा इसको हम बॉल में साफ करेंगे ठीक है गैस बंद कर दी हाँ गैस हो गया गैस हल्का हिला के हाँ अच्छा � अरे वाह एकदम पक गया हाँ जी हाँ जो हम खाए वही है अरे देखने में भी बहुत सुंदर है और सॉस कितना सॉस है ये सब जाएगा ना जी जी ये पूरा जाएगा पूरा जाएगा अच्छा और अब ये खत्म हो जाएगा ना हाँ तो अब हम लोग चाय बनाएंगे ना जी इसके बाद हम पारसी चाय बनाएंगे हाँ जी इसमें ये हो गया फिर हल्का सा गांसिंग कर देंगे अरे और आप लोग तो कोरियंडर कोरियंडर वो सब कुछ दमतर रहता है ना आप देखिए रवैया कितना अच्छा से बनाया और ये यहाँ पासी रुस्तम किचन में आप भी जब अपना घर में बनाएंगे ना तो आप लोग का सारा बिहेवियर भी ठीक होना चाहिए आप देखिए बढ़िया अच्छा अब मैं इसको साइड में रखता है और आराम से पासी चाय को सीखता है हम लोग फटाफट पासी चाय बनाएंगे ना हाँ चलिए बनाइए बनाइए अच्छा और मैं भी ये एक चीज अजीब बात है ना जी जी उसमें दूर होता है ना हाँ जी हाँ आप सोचे हर्बल थी में दूर होता है जी जी ये पुदीना आपका गांव में ऐसा नहीं होता है ना नहीं 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 ऐसा अच्छा पुदीना पत्ते ऐसे तोड़ के ठीक है और इसमें लेमन ग्रास लेमन अच्छा लेमन ग्रास ओके लेमन ग्र हाँ जी हाँ इतना हरा होना इसके बाद चाय पत्ती रानी अच्छा आइए चाय पार्टी और इसको हल्का सा टर्न करना है अच्छा हल्का सा टर्न करना है ठीक है चाय का फ्लेवर आ गया हाँ हाँ ठीक है उसके बाद फिर दूध डाल देना है इसमें अरे वाह और देखिए इसमें हम देख रहे हैं लेमन ग्रास ना हाँ जी बहुत सारे लेमन ग्रास हैं जी जी उसका फ्लेवर लेमन ग्रास का फ्लेवर थोड़ा ज़्यादा होना चाहिए मैं तो लगता है तो ये उबला हो गया ना उसका अरोमा भी आ गया आप देखिए ये है पासी चाय आप डाल दीजिए अगर तैयार है तो इसमें डाल दीजिए और ये देखिए ना दूध के साथ है आप हर्बल थी खप पिया है दूध के साथ है मुझे लगता है कभी नहीं तो ये बहुत आसानी से बन सकता है और मैं अभी पी के आया है और खाना खाने के बाद पीने में बहुत मज़ा है और ये है असली पासी चाय पासी चाय तो पी चुका है लेकिन इसको हम छोड़ना वाला नहीं है हाँ प्रकाश जी इसको हम भी लेके जाएंगे बाहर जाकर के पियेंगे हाँ एक बार यहाँ टेस्ट करता है अरे मज़ेदार है लेमन ग्रास है मिन और दूध मिला करके 
इसमें थोड़ा सा चीनी भी डालना है वो तो हम बाहर तार के लिए पीएंगे तो चलिए आइए वाह व्हाट एन एक्सपीरियंस रस्तम पासी कुजीन I've eaten in people's homes but I've never eaten once before in a restaurant like that. The food was amazing. And to think that the Parsis migrated from Persia to the coastal shores of Gujarat. I'm just in heaven. Wow, I could come back again. Now I'm also suggesting to you you must come and try one time. It's very easy to locate. It's not difficult. Now if you have any ideas or any feedback or any suggestions, don't forget we have at email wagyatasty at the rate gmail so do write to us do contact to us and now i'm signing off and i'll see you again on another wonderful episode where we'll explore another wonderful community cuisine all the best bye